Turning now to the investigation into the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery, the News for Jack's I team is digging deeper into the background of one of the men charged with murder. Gregory McMichael is a retired investigator for the Brunswick District Attorney's Office. The I team discovered for eight years of his time as an investigator, he was not a certified law enforcement officer. Now the policy agency that accredits who suspended him is speaking exclusively with News 4 Jack's I team investigator Kelly Wiley about what this means. The executive director of Georgia Post says for eight years of Greg McMichael's time here as chief investigator, he had as much authority to arrest someone as an average citizen. Multiple attorneys tell me the severity depends on how many cases he touched. One of the men seen in the bed of a truck is a former investigator for the Brunswick District Attorney's Office. Gregory McMichael has been the chief investigator under DA Jackie Johnson for more than 20 years. Personnel records from 2014 show for at least eight years, McMichael was acting as an investigator with no arrest powers due to a lack of training. Sir, the executive director of Georgia's Peace Coast Officer Standards and Training Council, Mike Ayers, uh, says it means he couldn't apply for orders of arrest warrants, search warrants, or conduct arrests under the color of the law. Uh, essentially, that, that individual at that point in time has no more authority to exercise um, restraint or control over another individual than any other citizen uh, would have. Attorney Gene Nichols says there are big implications for this revelation. So what I think we're going to see, if we haven't already seen it already, is all of these defendants who, if he was involved in their case, all are going to have the right to come back into court and say, wait a minute, I want my case looked at again because he was involved with it and he had no lawful authority to do what he was doing. A lot of it's going to depend upon how much involvement he had in each one of the cases. A letter in McMichael's personnel record state the office learned McMichael was behind on his training hours in April of 2014. The memo states he knew he was behind on hours, but recently discovered he had not had arrest powers since 2006. It had been eight years. A staff member wrote, until his arrest powers are restored, he has to hand over his badge, any identification cards identifying him as a deputy sheriff for district attorney's office investigator and his department issued firearm. After the revelation, McMichael went before the Georgia Post Council and was granted a waiver, allowing him to stay on as a full-time investigator. His boss, DA Jackie Johnson, spoke in front of the council on his behalf, writing in a letter that the situation had, quote, negatively impacted my office. Personnel files show McMichael for years was behind on governor-mandated training hours for de-escalation, community-oriented policing, and use of force. Those particular classes are critically important, um, especially when you look at terms like uh, situations like de-escalation. Uh, how do you keep a situation from getting out of hand, which is potentially what you're looking at specifically in this situation. Now, at that point in time, they were not acting as law enforcement officers. Uh, but had he been a law enforcement officer at that time, de-escalation training certainly uh, speaks to that whole issue. Another interesting aspect to this is how it happened. Uh, Greg McMichael in his personnel file said that he uh, had not known that he was without these arrest powers for this period of time. When we spoke to the executive director, he said at that period of time that we're talking about, it wasn't an uncommon issue. Agencies and officers themselves, they had the responsibility of keeping track of their training. Since Georgia Post has created a new system where they do yearly audits and they send out notification to officers as soon as they are now suspended. Now, we have reached out to the district attorney Johnson's office again about this issue. Uh, specifically, we were wondering um, how many cases this could potentially impact. We have yet to hear back. Reporting in Brunswick, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.